Episode 2 guys of the Arsenal career mode and it is now time to sign some players. Last time we got rid of half the squad but now I want Erland Haaland. That is the guy. Um, I wouldn't mind Arena also but looks like we're going to have to pay big fucking money here for Haaland and I wouldn't mind a swap deal. 100 million in Aubameyang. Could Aubameyang return to Borussia Dortmund? Um, we are going to offer 100 million um, player swap as well. Strikers, Pierre Emerick, Abamyang, are they gonna accept it? They want Abamyang and 160 million. Um, counter. Well, you know what, guys, that's a big fucking offer. How about 130? Submit offer. Jesus Christ. Um, propose new transfer fee. How about 145, guys? I'm trying to meet you. That's a more realistic offer. 145 million in Pierre Emerick Aubameyang for Haaland. That is a fucking... Could that propel Arsenal back to the fucking glory days? Who knows? But... Who fucking knows, man? Haaland only on 94 grand a week. Um, he wants a five-year deal. I mean, what the fuck? Why are we just getting a zoom in of that picture over there about some Mexicans or something? I don't know. We're going to disregard a release clause, right? I mean, we can afford, I mean, I'll, I'll offer him 150, I think he's bound to accept that, and we'll give him a sign-on bonus for a million quid, Erlen Haaland, sign on the dotted line, big man, that's a reasonable offer, my client's happy with that, Erlen Haaland has joined Arsenal Football Club, we're back, we're fucking back, Haaland up front instead of Aubameyang, that is the sort of sign that Arsenal need to be making, albeit it's fucking bankrupt us and we can't bring anyone else in, but who gives a rat's fucking ass? First game of the season though against Brentford, obviously Arsenal lost their first three games of the season because they're absolute fucking shite, but they didn't have Haaland, did they? You know, not not saying if they had Haaland like Arsenal would have fucking won all three games because, I mean, one great guy can't change the fucking rest of the team. Um, we've got a lot of offers there for Tierney, Klasnak's been sold, um, we had a transfer off of Smith Rowe. We're not getting rid of Smith Rowe, so Marseille, you can go fuck yourself. But here we go, guys. First game of the season. Ultimate difficulty. It just looks great with Haaland up front. Admittedly, right back, centre backs. It looks a bit pish. And yes, yeah, Sambi Leconcu, 73 rated. Not exactly ideal. But you know what? Sell a couple more players. I'm just hoping Haaland can produce the amount of goals to out shift the need for anyone else. But you never know. And there he is, Erland Haaland, first impression, the big man is here, big Erland, Erland Haaland, Erland Haaland, there he is, big Haaland, fuck, he's 6 foot 4, fuck, I didn't know he was 6 foot 4, I, I thought he was like 6 2, like, fuck, 6 foot 4, he's a big boy, our Haaland, our god is a great big god and he holds us in his hands, and our roster to down higher than there, Big John Laurinaitis, you know you know. But anyway, Tony on the ball. I mean, I say you know you know. I mean, with three people fucking know what I'm going with there. Um, and Wes has jumped past Gabriel. And that is fucking know what I want it. It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. Haaland on the ball there. Tried to slip through big Martin Odegaard. Is that Christopher Radger? I don't know. That's Radger there. Um, not exactly what we want it there. It's a pish start. And now, I mean, this Brentford team seems to have a load of fucking pace. Ben White, just showing that he's shit. And you don't waste £50 million on a bag of dog shit. That's that's pretty much what you just shown, shown me there. But you do waste money on Haaland. And now Haaland, well, it's not a waste, actually, so I shouldn't really say that. But Erlen Haaland, aye, £150 million pound of dog shit. But it's through to Martin Odegaard. Odegaard. And he makes it one each, Erlen Haaland with the assist on his debut. And that is what I like to see. So T. Jensen. Um, Chambers. Forward to Pepe. Odegaard. And he's found Haaland, who's away here. He's skipped past Christopher Adger. Erlen Haaland. And it's 2-1. And that is why you pay the big fucking bucks, man. A goal and assist in the opening 20 minutes. That's why. Haaland again. Fucking outside the boot. 
Oh fuck, I could have been bad. But it's back to Callum Chambers. And he's found. It's over to Odegaard now. Haaland. And now we're attacking here. Haaland's lost it. The Adger. Never thought I'd say that. The Corey. And now Wisa on the ball. Oh my god, lovely bit of skill there, but I think it was Ben White that made the save. It's cracked off the crossbar, it's back to Tony. But we've dealt with it there, now Partey can lead a counter-attack. Him and Pepe doing the right-hand side, come on, make a run, mate. Oh, right, don't make a run then, fuck me. You big nonce, what are you doing? Odegaard. Oh, lovely for Martin Odegaard, the former Real Madrid man. Martin Odegaard, 3-1. Fuck off, man. He like, just conceded some fucking jobber goals in this. No. Holy fuck, Saka slides in. Could have been bad, but we won the ball. But I mean, it didn't actually fucking matter, to be honest, because it led to hee haw. And Kieran Tierney has been absolutely sent there by Oyaka. Ball back to Tony. And the ref's getting a penalty. I don't fucking believe it. I don't believe it. Some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow. Tony now stepping up. Leno with a save. No particularly great save, to be honest. Um, Jensen on the ball. Pepe. Oh, Pepe's away. He's away for Henri. But is he, man? Because Henri, oh, fucking hell, man. He just bolted it. Back to his goalie. Pepe passes it short to Odegaard. Back to Pepe. Odegaard. Tried to fit it through a sea of bodies, but it's no happening. Because Tony's on the ball. Haaland. Haaland. He's away for this big man. Fucking Haaland. <sighs> Throw into them, fuck's sake. Oh no! Burnt fucking Leno. Saves a pet and he saves that like. Fucking legend. Absolute legend here. 18 minutes to go. Don't even know what the substitutions are like in this team, man. We'll probably have Smith Rowe in uh, some capacity, but it's back to Haaland. Haaland. Goes for goal. Can't quite buy. We'll take a wee look here at the substitution. Sambi Leconcu is booked, so we'll probably sub him off. Um, fuck with the Tommy Ash, he can play quite a few positions, so we'll bring him on. We'll bring on Smith Rowe for Pepe, and we'll bring on Martinelli for. No, we'll bring on Furich. He's a new siding as well. Fuck it, we'll bring him on. <laughs> Oh, it's another penalty. I'm sliding in to boot the ball. Clear. And Callum Chambers has been sent off, man. Callum Chambers sent off. Leno will try and do what he... Oh, I can't save it. We're down to 10 men with 11 minutes to go to get the winner. And just like in every other fucking career mode save that I'm involved with, it's just goals, fucking goals. Back to Odegaard. Pepe. Slip through back to the goalie. Goalie launches it forward. Sanaka. Oh no. And it could be all over here, but Burnt Leno, that man again. Was it the goalies in my career mode? Alan McGregor and Big Leno, man. Where would you be without them? And Haaland. Fucking play him. He's played Pepe, but Sanaka's back. The guard slips through Haaland, who could be away for Christoph Adger here. Haaland to win it in the 92nd minute, but forces a great save off the Brentford goalie. We've got a corner here, last kick of the game. Thomas Partey, keeper catches it. No, three each. Not quite, wasn't to be. 
Guys, update for this Arsenal career mode part and until next time.